Hey, hey, what's up, my friend? So in today's episode, I want to discuss, all right, the one thing, the one thing that profitable traders do that losing traders don't. So what is this one thing? Well, if you ask me, right, based on my, you know, last seven, eight years of mentoring traders, this one thing is profitable winning traders, they validate their trading strategy. And this is something that losing traders don't. So what is validating your trading strategy? Validating means, right, you've done the work, you've backtest the strategy, you forward test it, and you know that the trading strategy that you're trading actually yields a positive expectancy. It actually makes money in the long run. It actually has an edge in the markets. This is what I mean by, you know, validating your trading strategy, right? And this is what winning traders do. They don't risk a single dollar until they know that they have tra they are trading something that actually works. Whereas if you look at losing traders, they just go to forum, they read some books, you know, oh, buy when the price breaks out of the 50-day high, okay? And I have a 50 pips uh, target profit. And they'll just, you know, take it at face value. They think that, oh, just because someone wrote a book, that person is credible, right? And they just take that strategy at face value and they trade it on their live account. And they wonder, you know, why they lose money in the long run, right? That's because they have not validated their trading strategy. And when you have validated your trading strategy, right? There are many benefits that come along with it. Number one, you overcome the fear of losing. Why? Because when you are trading a strategy that is validated, maybe you've backtested over the last 20 years, right? You've backtested it uh, in a bull market uptrend, in a downtrend, in a low volatility environment, in a high volatility environment. And it, if it still makes money, right, despite different market regimes, then you have confidence, right, that in the future, even as, you know, market change again, right, from uptrend to downtrend, etc., that strategy is still likely to make money in the long run, right? You will have the fear of losing still, but the fear of losing is greatly minimized, right? Since you know that strategy has survived, right? In different market conditions. And that's not all, right? It also helps you overcome the fear of the unknown, right? Imagine if you take a trading strategy that's not validated. You would always have the thought process like, like you know, what if the strategy, it stops working? What if the strategy doesn't work at all in the first place? What if this trading strategy is a losing strategy? You have all these damn thoughts in your head, right? The fear of the unknown. But if you've validated the strategy, if you know that this is something that works, that thought will naturally melt away, right? You'll look through the historical uh, backtesting and you realize, hey, this strategy has worked in the uh, 08, 09 financial crisis during the dot-com bubble is working fine, right? Right now, you know, it may not be working too well, but this is part and parcel of the drawdown and it's likely to continue working again in the future. You can see that, you know, the fear of the unknown is greatly minimized as well when you are trading a strategy, right, that is validated. Next one, the third one. When you are trading a strategy that is validated, right, you will have the conviction to trade it. Right? Simple as that, right? If you know that every time you toss a coin, it comes up hit, you win $10. Every time it comes up tail, you lose $5. Will you be convinced to toss that coin for the next 100, 200 times? I'm sure you will, right? Because the coin toss, you know, yields you a positive expectancy. And it's the same for trading, right? You will have the conviction to trade that system, right? If you know that you have a positive expectancy, if you know that you have an edge in the markets, it's a no-brainer, right? Fourth thing, right? When you trade a strategy that is validated, you won't get swayed by noise in the market. You won't get swayed by news in the market. You won't be, you know, chasing all this, the shiny object syndrome, right? Because you know that you already have something that works, right? Why deviate from it, right? When you have something that works. So you would tend to be more focused. You'd be more disciplined, right? And kind of, you know, tune out away from the noise in the markets. And finally, the fifth thing, right? Or rather the, uh, yeah, the fifth thing. When you are convinced of your trading strategy, when you're not swayed by the noise, right? When you don't have, you know, so much trading psychology issues, right? At the back of your head, right? What happens naturally is that you become more consistent in your trading, right? You become a more consistent trader. That is something that will happen naturally. And it all starts with, number one, validating your trading strategy, right? Doing the work, right? Back testing, forward testing, right? And to find out whether something really works or not before you trade it. And that's the biggest difference, right, between winning and losing traders. Losing traders, they just want to be spoon-fed. Right? Hey, Rainer, what's the best moving average parameters I should use, right? Should I use the 20 or 27 period moving average? For winning traders, right, they will do the work. They will find out, right, whether something works or not, and they just go for it. Okay, so this is the one thing, right, that separates winning from losing traders. Do the work, validate your trading system, right, and I can assure you, your trading, right, the your life will get much better from there. Alright, so with that said, I've come towards the end of today's video. If you've enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I will 
Talk to you soon.